Hello YouTube and welcome back. I think this is going to be episode 32 in my Let's Play Kerbal Space Program series. And in this episode, I have a little bit of a different contract, one I haven't shown before. So let's jump in and take a look at that. Also in the top right, there should be a link uh, if you want to go back to the beginning of the playlist from episode zero. Okay, so let's take a look at this contract I picked up. I uh, grabbed this one last episode to end the last episode. Uh, it was Recover Unit TJQH-4 from Orbit of Kerbin. So basically what we have to do, uh, we're going to go up here and find this object. We're going to grab it with a grabber unit and we will deorbit and uh, return this object back to the surface. Now I've, I've done one of these uh, like I mentioned in the previous video. I was almost successful. I went up, I grabbed the object, I got back through the atmosphere, but the battery, the electric charge ran out on my probe and I was not able to deploy all of my parachutes and I lost the object. Um, I ended up landing at like 13 or 14 meters a second. The probe survived, but the object that I was supposed to bring back did not survive. So I won't try this again and thought I would try to record this one. So the first thing we need to do is find the object. Um, now this is going to be an unknown object. Here it is right here. So fortunately it is going prograde. So that's good and it is pretty much on a uh, zero degree inclination. So that's good. But what we need to do is um, we need to find this object and see what we're dealing with. See what kind of object it is. Now I should have a probe. Let's see if I can find it. It may be this one. Let's take, let's fly this probe here and see. Yeah, I've got f almost 1500 Delta V on this. Let's see if we can rendezvous with the object using this probe. And then we'll see that way we can see what we've got. We'll set this as a target and turn everything else back off. Okay, so we need to rendezvous with this object. It is behind us currently. And its orbit is, uh, looks like about 82 by what by 84 so pretty much we have pretty much the same orbit so I'm gonna go just pick a spot here and make my orbit a little bit larger because so I'm currently 83 by 84 so if I go a little bit larger let's get out to about 86 86 by 84 and then we should be able to let that object catch up to us. And then we can uh, rendezvous with it and just see what we're working with. And then we'll go back to the VAB and look at our um, craft that we're going to use to go up and grab this thing and bring it back. So first, let's get to our maneuver node here. It's a real slow, I'm going to have to keep my throttle down. And this doesn't have to be exact here. I can just, uh, really just trying to get my orbit out to about 86 right there. Okay. Now, I will add another maneuver here. bring my orbit back into 84 
this is what I'm going to look at here. But we're going to go several orbits ahead. Let's see how close we can get here. Okay, 6.2. Perfect. All right, so that's going to have us um, about 100 meters away from it. We should be able to get a pretty good look at it from there. So I'm going to warp ahead four days. Woo. Okay, and I want to do this burn, bring this intersect down. Should be able to get it down about 100 meters. And it's not a very, actually, let me turn my thruster down a little more even here. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, I don't want to be, I want to be on my orbit. That's a kilometer. You know what? I'm going to go that. Let's just, uh, I can close in that distance. So I didn't get nearly as close as I wanted to there, but it was acting weird. So I didn't want to keep fooling around with this thing. In fact, I can already see the target there. So let's select target. Um, in fact, how close is it going to come to us? 1.1, so it's probably already there. So I need to go ahead and burn retrograde to that target. All right, and then let's see if we can get over there a little closer to it. I'll turn this thrust back up. That's 100. So we'll bring it into 100 meters. We we'll use time warp for that. This is a nice little probe to just have in orbit to go do these rendezvous so I don't have to launch a second one. Ooh, that looks like a pretty big object there. That might be more difficult than the last one was. Let's get a little closer. How am I supposed to bring this thing back? sure okay so what we've got here it looks like uh, basically a let me aim the camera at this thing basically have a solid rocket booster here one of these kickback solid rocket boosters hmm so I'm trying to think how could I bring this back
I may have to do some EVA construction on this or something. I don't know if this would survive re-entry or if it would burn up in the atmosphere. I mean, I assume it would burn up in the atmosphere. Huh. If I could come up here and put a docking port on this end here and then connect a capsule to it but I think I would probably also want to put a couple of parachutes on this thing hmm I don't know folks <laughs> I don't know how to do this one the method I used last time is not going to work for this I don't think it's just going to weigh too much for me to try to parachute back with, huh? See, I don't know if this is empty. I assume that, I mean, it's a solid rocket booster for it to be up here in orbit. It should be empty. I mean, I can try to, do, I have never done the EVA construction before. What I'm thinking about doing is um, if I could use EVA construction, put a heat shield here, mount a probe body or some kind of guidance deal on the front here. But then I would also need parachutes on this thing and a battery. All right, let me think for a minute. Okay, so I thought I'd just show, here's what I made last time. This is what I used. Uh, it's just a probe body, parachutes on it. Uh, we got a pretty big heat shield here. It's the largest heat shield I have. And then I have a fuel tank and a, uh, what is this? Just a Terrier engine. This is just a deorbit. Um, so the idea being I, you know, I boost this thing up into space, I get a rendezvous and, you know, you basically, you dock up, you, you connect up with the grabber and then you deorbit. Now these, um, parachutes, I have four of them on there. So it may very well work. So I'm thinking about trying this. Um, if I can come in heat shield first and get through the atmosphere, then I, I can, um, I think I have, the only separator I have is here. So I'm thinking that I could probably add another separator here. So after I've cleared the atmosphere, I can ditch this part to shed a good bit of this weight. Actually, I think you can get rid of these. I think you can jettison the heat shield. So I may not even need the decoupler. I'll bring the decoupler anyway. 
but I just think four of these parachutes should be enough to land a probe body and one rocket, a uh, solid rocket, empty rocket booster. So I'm going to try this, but I'm going to make some modifications here. Um, move this antenna over here. I want to get two solar panels on here. And probably don't even need two, honestly. because I also wanted to see about some RCS. Okay, let's put two solar panels on. Uh, let's see, I'm looking for cheap. <laughs> I gotta go cheap, because I'm broke. That's 440 right there. These are not retractable. But honestly, well, okay, I'll just take two of these. I don't want to overthink this. Now, I also need some RCS. Because I need to be able to get this pretty much in line with um, the center. When I, when I grab this thing, I need to be pretty much in line with it so I need some maneuverability let's try just trying to think where I can put some thruster blocks on this thing I'm just gonna do this now the small blocks are the ones I need Put four of these, and then inside here, I can put some mono propellant. So that's going to be where here. Oh, that's too big. don't know that I need four I'll just put two on there and then uh, let's look at we don't need y'all pitch or roll okay and then put this battery back on there. Does this work? Maybe. This is costing me 45,000, almost 46,000. What's my reward for this contract? Uh, it doesn't tell me from here. Well, we're gonna try it anyway. So this time I have solar panels and I have mono propellant. So that was a couple of challenges I had last time. All right, let's look at our launch and see where we want to try to launch from to encounter this thing. Here is the object. Okay, so we can uh, advance ahead a little bit. Try right about here. Okay. Still gonna be a night launch, oh well. Now I did add some weight. Did I just mess up my delta V? Um, I 
I don't know it's gonna be cutting it close. TWR is good. May have to finish off our orbit with some of this here. Well, let's see if 3400 really works to get us into orbit. I mean, I could add some more fuel, but my TWR is already... Well, I've got it adjusted down, so I can maybe add some more fuel here. Let's see. And what if we just add another big tank? I don't know if I can get the thrust now. That's certainly enough Delta V. But can I get the thrust I need is the question. Yeah, we can get it. I don't need the mission to fail. I need to, if I'm going to spend the money, I need to make sure. I don't want to just chance it. I need to make sure it's going to make it into space. So let's get rid of these. And let's look at our lift and all that. Should be good. I'm trying to remember if I had reaction wheels anywhere. Right here. And let's add a uh, reaction wheel. It's too big. just to help with our agility in space a little bit more. Okay, well, we're at 48.6 on cost. Let's give this a try. So I'm going to try to put this in space and see you in orbit. Okay, I made it into orbit. Got about 340 delta V left. And let's see, I want to go ahead and deploy my fairing here. And get these solar panels out. Okay, now let's look at where we're at. This is us. Here's our target. And my target's periapsis is 82 by 84. So I want to go slower. So I'm going to push my APO to... Um, I'm going to get right here. I'm going to go So what did I say? 82 by 84. I want to be uh, 82 by 86. So to do that let's go and grab the 86 here. And then I'll swing around and I'll get um, 82. And then we can see about uh, doing an encounter. 81. 82. And burn. 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, that looks better. All right. So now our orbit's a little bit bigger than the target. And to rendezvous 
back, I would bring this back into 84, I guess. And let's skip ahead some orbits, bring it closer. Okay, 1.2 kilometers, that's pretty good. You can even do better than that. Let's take about four, 400 meters here because I'm going to need time to slow down and do this. So. Let me get on this mark. That's only a 1.8. That's a very small maneuver. I wonder if I should go ahead and get rid of the... Um, I think I am. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the large section here because it's just too much thrust, I think. We're not going to need very much fuel at all to get this encounter. So we'll go ahead and separate here. And then we want to activate this engine and put that on the maneuver node. Well, it's taking 75 Delta V with this smaller engine, but that's okay. Let's warp to our position six days out I really should have centered on Kerbin before doing that okay so that's seven second burn that's a little more manageable and we're looking at a uh, point we're looking at 400 meters. I don't want it on the target. Wait, what is this? Okay. So our encounter will be 345 meters away. Let's warp one out here. So yeah, we just still need to make sure we got a, you know, could probably deorbit with a hundred delta V. My orbit looks fine. And there's my target. So let's see, I want to control from here. Actually, not yet, I don't. So let me get retrograde to my target here. Because it's actually coming up on me pretty fast. I think at about 450, I'm going to start my burn. All right, we still have 600. I have a. Uh, 40 monopropellant. I'm not necessarily docking. I think I may have overshot that.
If I can get up to about 100 meters, then I can bring it on in with monopropellant from there. Alright, now, let's see if we can control from here. Let's point this thing at the unit and RCS on. Almost messed up because this thruster block is right up against this battery. And I think you can uh, block your thruster blocks if you're not careful. I'm going to go ahead and get this up here because I have to arm this, but I don't want to do it just yet. I think the way it works, I think I just got lucky last time, but you have to uh, arm it and then I think you have to, like you're docking and you want to, um, you know, basically ram, <laughs> ram into the object and it grabs it. Um, but like I say, I don't really know. I've never, I've only used it one time. So I'm just going to get up here, bump up against this thing and see if I can maneuver myself to one end or the other. Um, hopefully I can get on the end, one of the ends of this thing. All right, so I want to be Oh no, these are supposed to be five way against it, but I got to get to the back side of this thing somehow. I think this is going to be pretty difficult to do. <laughs> this is going to be really difficult to do. I just got to grab it wherever I can get it. So we've got it. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to give this a shot. This thing may burn up in the atmosphere. Um. 
or it may it may break off. I don't know how strong this connection is here. But I'm going to give it a shot here. We have a full electric charge. I think what I'm going to do is move this up here with these. Like this. All right, and then I would like to land. Well, now would probably be a good time to actually deorbit. I don't think this is going to work. It's just too big. I think I'm going to burn as much fuel as I can. Trying to get me going straight down. I'm not quite center of mass. I'm afraid as I'm coming down, this could be swinging. I'm just trying to kill off as much speed as I can. Because I think the slower I'm going, the less you know, pressure and heat we're going to have. I'm going to go ahead and deploy all my chutes now. Because if I get into a spin, then I may not be able to do anything about it. Be interesting if this works. Sure to wish I could come right down here on this water. Well, we're about to hit the upper atmosphere where the heating is going to start. We're already starting to heat up here. We'll just have to see what this thing can do. At least we will go ahead and burn up this fuel. So if we have an explosion, maybe it won't be too terribly big. All right. Well, that's it. So we're hitting it at about 2,000 meters a second. I don't know how well this thing will... You know, this should act as a drag... 
I just I don't want this to blow up. See, it's already it looks like it's starting to bend. We're kind of going into a roll here. But this should really should give us enough drag to stay properly angled, I would think. Yeah, there's just no way I was gonna be able to connect on the end of this thing. Hmm. I don't know. I think we're going to lose it here. I've lost my probe control, so it's not trying to hold itself into a retrograde anymore. survived that part. Now if I can just go slow enough to get these parachutes to open. And it does look like we will end up in the water. I think the four chutes will be enough if we can just get them. And I can actually um, drop the heat shield and tank. That'll give us a little less weight. Oh wow, we're coming down almost to the KSC. <laughs> that couldn't have been much more perfect right there. So we'll see what these four shoots can do. And then like I said, if I have to, I'll uh, get rid of this part. We're only dropping 150 meters per second now, so this may just work. I'll be completely amazed if it does. I'm kind of scared to do any uh, time warp with this, so I'm just going to have to let it do its thing. We're 100, 106 meters per second before the chutes even deploy fully, so as long as this doesn't come loose, we might be good. Can't believe where we're landing. This is just... <laughs> right by the KSC. And the shoot should deploy. Whoa. Oh yeah, six meters a second. I think we can live with that. I think I'm safe to even... Uh, a little time warping now. Well, I do think this was easier than trying to go up there and build something uh, construction in space. So hopefully this survives. Oh yeah, look at there. Perfect. Recover the vessel and let's make sure the contract. All right, vessel recovered. And contract complete. So we did it. Excellent. I was just looking to see if we had any world first milestone with this. Okay. Well, very good. So that's one of those contracts for going up and re recovering 
an object from space and bringing it back. So that went much better than my last attempt. Kind of an interesting different type of contract. You got a little problem you gotta solve, so. That was that. Uh, not sure what we'll do next episode, but uh, stay tuned and if you check to your top right here, you'll see a link to the playlist if you wanna go back and watch from the episode zero. And in the top left, you have a subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.